to Ooh, us specifically as a player. That's some Number good drip. Can we play Quidditch in Hogwarts Legacy? I need to know, and I know you need to know, so we need to find out. Also, will there be microtransactions? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in this video today. Also, the probably biggest thing that we all want to know is can we actually play as Harry, Hermione, and Ron? Let's figure out today. This is Hogwarts Legacy. 16 gameplay details that we need to know before the game comes out. It comes out in February, guys. I'm super excited about this. If you guys are super excited about this as well, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, and bring the notification bell. Let's get into the video. Hogwarts Legacy 16 details that we need to know. And books. I'm super excited. All right, let's go on. on. I'm Hogwarts so Legacy ready. Game. Honestly, I'm, too, I'm ready too, guys. Great. The open world sounds looks promising, great. and generally, it just yeah. might be the best Harry Potter game to come out in recent history. Well, aside recent from the Harry be Potter like and the Philosopher's the Stone from the PlayStation. PlayStation 1, which let's be honest, like, was way okay. Comic. That was well, probably the most OP, lately, but you know, discussing uh, which is the most powerful spell in the Wizarding World. So, I'm gonna post it to you guys in the comments down below. Which is the strongest yes, spell chat. ever in the Wizarding World universe? What is what is let me know in the comments section down below. What is the strongest spell in the, in the in the universe in the in the Wizarding universe? What is and do you think we'll be able to play that? Crinalexia. Use it in the game? Welcome so to my channel. We're wrap together 16 things that you need to know about the game so you're caught up to speed and you know what's up. Definitely click like down below okay, to show support if you do enjoy this video as it really does help us out. And click subscribe because we have plenty of content planned over the next few days that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Let's start it off with yes, number I love one. You can actually fly a broom to traverse and explore areas uh -huh. of the map, but first you have I mean, to take a flying that's class kind to of like... master your broomstick flying skills. And remember this is a school, so taking class is going to be a normal thing. Number two, although oh, you yeah. can fly a broom, Quidditch yeah, will not be a yeah. playable activity within the game, Yo, although it will, will be, be broom sick races in and this challenges, game. so at least you can do some things on the broom if you were someone that's really Yo, into Yo, imagine Quidditch. like three, actually playing you can actually Quidditch, tame, for real. Mount, and ride some magical beasts within Hogwarts, yeah, that's so what broom I'm excited flight for. is your elements. only method of aerial Welcome to my channel. I'm that's super cool. excited for this one. Yeah, and I remember I've seen that in one of the trailers. Go into those the things are so cute. System, but we'll just exactly. have to wait and see. I want to ride four, one of those dragons. You can find and access the Room of Requirement, which is a magical room in the Hogwarts Castle, which can only be discovered by someone who is in need of it. Within the actual grounds of Hogwarts, having access to this room will give you the ability to customize as well as grow your abilities, but more on this is going to be revealed officially later down the line. Number five, okay. it is confirmed that there will be no microtransactions within Yay! Hogwarts Legacy. Although we love games without my Y'all really be Calculating me. Leave Britney alone. Shut up, Charming. Shut up, video. Stop. Leave Charming alone. Leave Britney alone. Let's do this. Look. See what happens is, I like I need to unpack. I need to eat something real quick. Hi, friend. Hello, friend. Hi, also stream elements. Welcome to the channel. It's your favorite. Uh, am I? Am I a Hufflepuff still? No, I'm not Hufflepuff. This music is making me wanna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Bring it up. Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, my knee hurts. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't do that for too long. I can't do that for too long. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's your favorite. It's your favorite. What am I? What? What is my? I was. I'm a Gryffindor. I'm a Gryffindor. You want me to grab the mic like, like last time? Uh. Hmm. 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 Where is Discord? Let me pop out of this one and go to this one. Switch. Yes, I'm in stream gaming. You can come in. That's where we are. Okay. Yeah, come on in. Uh, oh, shit. You won't be able to... Um, Hold on. Let me share screen. No. No. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we, we're here. We're here. Right here. Okay. There we go. So that way, when you come over, you'll be able to see. Gotcha. Yes. Don't have to. No, 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 no. It's not that complicated. It's not complicated. It's not complicated at all. It's easy. Okay, this music is not... Like, this music is, is, is nice, but it's not giving me what I need. 
I need, I need, I need just, just, I need some magic class music. You know what I mean? I need some magic class music. What we, what, let's, let's figure it out. Where can I find some magic class music? I mean, I guess I could do epic. Yeah, this feels good. <clears throat> Anyway, hello everybody, welcome back. It is your favorite Gryffindor. I am Gryffindor. Yes, charming. Now, look, what we got what we're gonna to do today on this stream, because I know it's different than our normal regular Elder Ring stream, but in like guys, in like three in like three weeks, Hogwarts Legacy comes out, and I'm extremely excited for it. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be the game that I just that I played. Pip, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? If you guys are ready for it, go ahead and do me a favor. While you're watching this, whether you're watching it live, whether you're watching the VOD, or whether you're watching this in the video, go ahead and do me a good old favor. Where we at? You enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. What you see here. If you're looking forward. If you like what you see. If you enjoy what you see. If you're looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy, go ahead and smash that fat like button. One. Uh huh. I want you. Mm hmm. To abuse. Deeply. People abuse that like button. Wahala, uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, 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 okay. I have a Wait, where did my camera go? Camera, come back. Camera, come back. Camera, come back. What's up, grass? My device is connected. What are you doing? What's up, grass? How are you? How you doing, buddy? There we go. Why did you why did you go away? I can hear you. Yes, ma'am. So I don't know which one I'm supposed to be watching. I try to watch your stream on Discord, but it's not moving. <laughs> yeah, it's not moving because that's just my TV. Or that's just my my amusement. This production. is the screen that my I'll be watching all the videos on. So you can watch with me at oh, the same okay. time. Instead of looking at my stream. Oh, okay. Anyways, everybody say hi to Kren. Hi, Kren. Okay, hi, everybody. Welcome in. I see Graz is here. What's up, Graz? Welcome back, you little freaking troll. Amusement, that's my son, my child. Welcome back. Roblox is not going to be game of the year. It's not happening. I watched my little brother play that uh, the last few days on my vacation, which was amazing. Oh, speaking of vacation, everybody, Kren just went to the, the Harry Potter. No. The Hogwarts store? What what is it called? Uh, Harry Potter New York. Harry Potter New York. I am so jelly. How was it? <laughs> it was really really cool. So the the first time I went down, I was only in there for like half an hour, and mm -hmm. then um, so this time I got to go down, and we were in there for like three hours. <laughs> God. So How, I, I was able to take my time a little bit more. It wasn't nearly as busy. I got to take lots of pictures, and I got Hogwarts robes. Oh my God! You have to so, send. You didn't send any pictures. Uh, not yet. I haven't taken. I have to like. I want to like lay it out like. Okay and get okay. Decent, decent shots because yeah. we were we were moving all the time, and I didn't want to have like my grandparents. Oh my God! <laughs> that's so. And... That is so amazing. I am looking forward to those pictures really, so much. Really, really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, how, how, like, how are the robes? How, how, how do the robes feel? Like, are they like? Oh, they're nice. Big. They're really good quality. Like... I, I thought it was gonna be more like you know like those cheap, uh, like Halloween costume kind of things, but they're, uh -huh. they're really, they're thicker, and they have there's like a patch. Um, so I got the Hufflepuff ones, obviously, because that's how I was sorted. So it has the patch on the corner. There's a right. wand pocket on the inside. God, that's so fucking sick. Which is just a neat detail. And yeah, really long. I mean, which like, obviously you would think. All the way to the floor. Yeah, you gotta keep it's that thing clean if you ever decide to like, wear it. So like the red ones, um, like the the Gryffindor ones had red on the inside, Ravenclaw blue, yeah, and green. Um, they have a hood, and the hood's like nice and long, so it comes like to a point, like a witch's hat. But it's no, like, no, it's no. Connected. We don't want a it's point. Really cool. Oh no, no, <laughs> I don't. Want, we don't want a point. <laughs> it, but it does look. It looks really cool when it hangs down the back. So it Jess looks, Sears, it looks really awesome. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. Hi, Jess. Hello. Oh my God, that sounds so amazing. Okay. Yeah, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it, it's it's really cool. It's really awesome to go in there and there. The they basically set up like where you get the wands. It looks like Ollivander's. So all the mm-hmm. boxes are just kind of stacked in the side, but they have they have like uh, ones on the outside that are kind of displayed for you to like pick up, test how heavy they are, and feel it in your hand, kind of deal. And then um, that is literally middle, so sick. The middle where the staircase is that takes you to the you know the bottom and the top floor. It um. The, the statue that's on top is the big eagle statue from Dumbledore's, that's like the entrance to Dumbledore's office, and it does spin periodically. Uh, oh, holy there's shit. There's like a Honeyduke section, there's a spot where, uh, it's like Hagrid's Forest, that's where like the toy yeah. area is. Yeah. Um, Mina Lima has a section downstairs that's all for her stuff. She is the lady that designed all the paper product or the paper props sorry for the movies so like she um, was wait she was there you say no 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 she wasn't there she oh the, she was designing a stuff at the... sh- yeah there's a showcase it. Section okay. to shop in so you can, oh, you can get things like you can get things like your personalized letter to hogwarts that you can have that's personalized to you oh she designed shit. She designed all the paper products. So in the in the book, not the books, sorry, in the movies, um, like any props that were like paper, so like the Daily Prophets or the Quibbler or the um the letters to Hogwarts, all those things that were paper, she created and designed and and did. So there's like replicas there that you can get. She also did the wallpaper for the um for Sirius Black's house that has the the tree with his his heritage on it. So, so yeah, she awesome. just just all that stuff. She just had a whole section. That is for so sick. Or just, yeah. yeah. So she did. That is so like, sick. She did things like wrapping paper and and postcards and and you can personalize your own letter and things like that. So just how well can you hear her? Yeah, keep going. You can give it. I'm just, just, just checking on, just checking on my, my, my audio quality. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I hear you fine, but I want to make sure they. I know, I, I know, my mic is always screaming. Well, I, I was hearing like an echo, so I have you on Discord that I can hear you. Uh huh. Um, and I, I muted the stream. Muted the stream. Yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's okay. Okay, so. I I just finally got I just got this email for the Yule Ball, which I have never heard of before. Have you heard of this before? No, you were the first person to tell me about it. The only thing that I heard about it was apparently in New York and Westchester. There's also um like a like a state park or something that they turned into a forbidden forest like hike. Oh, that's pretty cool. That you can hike through and there's like they have things like the Ford Anglia that eventually lives in the Forbidden Forest, the Acromantulas, uh, Aragog, and stuff like that. So you get to walk through the and like sort of experience the Forbidden Forest kind of I mean, thing. This... But that's like way north of where we were. Yeah, this is so freaking cool. Like, I, I mean, it it makes me think of you ever uh, you ever hear of um. You're going to have to get medieval to times. Oh yeah, I've been there. This this kind of makes me think of like that, except a full ball that we can be yeah. on the floor, interacting. I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of show. And I'm sure there's gonna be like a dinner, but like a stunning decorative decorated venue, a themed market to explore, a show with lively Very hosts. Cool. Yeah, so there's gonna be a show. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. You're gonna have to get dress robes. Oh yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Harry Potter, Yule, Yule Ball celebrate. Like I have never heard of this. Before. I just got a random email from from I guess Harry Potter Wizarding World uh, of 40 percent off. That's I'm cool. I'm I'm going. I am driving to Houston, Texas, and going. It is going to happen. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm bringing some of my I'm gonna bring some of some of the girls that I work with. All the hosts oh, okay. and house services representatives. Our should be engaging. There will be much more to do besides interactive performances and jumping on a lively dance floor. Be sure to enjoy the markets, themed treats, shop for gifts, wands, and robes. Take advantage of opportunities and photos. Whether you're attending with friends, sniff other, blah, blah, blah. There's so much stuff to do. Uh, you'll be able to show off your house or school pride in this event. I'm so excited for it. I highlight. It really neat. 
energetic host. I expect I expect the show to be awesome. Just like awesome. Delicious treats and beverages fit the occasion. Well, I cannot wait to get drunk at the Yule Ball. I'm going to be so lit. And we were actually, now that I think about it, we were actually planning on driving there, uh, being in Houston all day, going to the ball, and then coming back. But I'm just, I'll just drive the whole way and I'll just tell the two of them to drop back so I can be drunk as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Themed activities and opportunities for photos. I know these photos are going to be so beautiful. Imagine the thumbnails that I'm going to have for the photos. Like, imagine. I just, oh, okay. The Yule Ball Market for shopping. I just, oh man. And the dazzling dance floor. That looks so beautiful. My mouse is stupid. Sorry, everybody. Order. Oh, show start. Welcome dances, introductions, free roam dancing, uh, order hors d'oeuvres, shopping, photo ops, champions, waltz. Oh, champions! Champion what? Champions waltz. So oh, I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm assuming that's. I actually don't know. Maybe that's going to be like the champions of the show. Yeah, maybe they come out and do so. Like the Yule Ball in the movies and in the books, they the champions always do the first dance, and right? And everybody else joins in. So maybe that's part of the show. Maybe they'll do like a maybe best house dance off. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be so cool. Hitting the houses. That's gonna be so oh, cool. Boy. Oh my god! Imagine the imagine all of the content creators that are gonna, that are gonna be there. I might be able to meet a lot of people. I need to really do my research on content creators because, okay, fashion parade, that's going to be sick. Freestyle dancing and good nights. That is sick. Oh my God, I need to find an actual outfit. Holy shit. Oh, I haven't seen them two in so long. Oh my God, there's going to be famous people there. Who? There's going to be famous people there. Nice. I'm thinking about that. Like, there's gonna be so many people there. I, I really, really gotta find an outfit. Oh my god, they look so damn good. He, he, he the two of them are actors, and they're both like they act. And he's in Disney Channel. I'm not sure. I think she might be in Disney Channel. Maybe. Wow, look at this freaking like goblet. I don't oh my either god. One. Really? So, oh, you're, oh, mm, I'm a little bit younger than you, so he's around my Disney Channel time. Okay, yeah, whatever. Keep rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually also going to get like the, the, the nicer tickets too, like the, like the, like the backstage ones as well. Uh, gift card, you'll blah, 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 Texas. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I'm just so freaking excited. I'm getting the. I, I want to get the. Um. This premium adult pack. Yeah, this pre wait no premium no. This one, the hundred dollar pack. Mm. On the twenty whatever the premium pack. This one right here, which comes with the admission, priority access. A drink and a special gift. I just, I feel like it's just gonna be literally everything. Like it has to be. Like, can I go in February? It's like it doesn't show me. It doesn't show that I can switch the month. <laughs> Whatever. So the Yule Ball is very specific to the Tri Wizard Tournament, which we're not gonna get in the game. However. We have it has been confirmed that the game and um like the areas so like the castle and Hogsmeade will um react to seasons and holidays so it will like there will be decoration at Christmas time and yeah you know Halloween will have pumpkins and all kinds of stuff around so that's kind of cool that'll be neat I I do expect it to be like pretty I mean like what do you what do you call it um pretty like interactive like with us in the in the world you know what i mean like i i'm, I'm pretty sure that it'll be um what do you call it yeah you know like, like that like like with our real world just so that way we're actually immersed yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Plus, with all the work that they're doing yeah. on, yeah, go ahead. Raining and like storms and stuff. We've seen things like that. So yeah, you know, it's gonna be pretty immersive. It's gonna be. I like. I mean, they put all this. They put all this work into the, like, just the ASMRs, which I've watched another yeah. one. I can't remember which one. I watched. Okay. But into the ASMRs, yeah. So at least we already know that they've got the seasons down. You know, and they they know the detail of what you're gonna put in. What is this stuff about it being delayed? Have you heard anything about that? I haven't. I haven't wanted to watch so, anything. So I've been wanting to watch it all on stream. So it's not all delayed. It. The thing is all about. Um, so apparently they've had to delay some of the older all tech. Right guys, Wes so here. Welcome. PlayStation Five, PC, and the newest Xbox are gonna be released as they said, February 10th. Um, uh -huh. But the old gen, so you're talking PlayStation 4, like, yeah. the older Xbox, and stuff like that, they have had to take extra time to adjust graphics and gameplay mechanics for those systems so that it runs as smoothly as it will for the others. So those have been delayed to, uh, I believe, April 4th. Yeah. And then... <laughs> um, which is upsetting a lot of people, but I mean, if it were me and I was playing on PlayStation Four, I would want them to take whatever time they need yeah. to ensure that it's yeah. done properly and it's right and there's no bugs. And then actually, Switch, which people are mad because it's going to be later than the rest of them, but the Switch, Switch is getting, got, they're getting it on Switch. Yes, so and they're Nintendo upset. Switch. The, now wait a minute. So the the Nintendo Switch has originally been said that it was going to be 2024. That has gotten bumped to July of this year. So that one was actually a bump up. Oh, that's awesome. Back. So it's just taking a little bit more, I'm sure, because you know mechanics and gameplay and the graphics are different for each of these systems, and I'm sure they're just trying to make sure that your experience, however you play, is going it is to the be best as, one that you potentially can right and it's immersive and so as every other one i understand that all the hype has made people a little angry that they have to wait but at the same time yeah i would think you would want them to take whatever time they need to ensure that your gameplay experience is like amazing i mean that's one of the biggest reasons why i want to so, get a pc is because the pc is i mean like there's very very minimal games or minimal amounts of games that are released like uh, not on pc and the rest of them yeah. are like pc is always updating itself like if you just you all you need to do is potentially get another gpu at some point that's why I really i was like right. i have to get a pc or and i don't need to keep yeah your, yeah you know yeah i don't need to yeah. buy a whole new console and my last console is completely irrelevant you know so this 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 guy is saying there's some bad news about hogwarts legacy and I watched some of his stuff. Today we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy again. And I want to know what he's what he has to say if it actually has to do with like yeah, but if you watch this, you're going to see stuff from the showcase, and it's going to be like a spoiler like for you. Oh, so I got to watch the showcase first. Yeah, I would. Okay, all right, let's go showcase first. All right, so this, so I've watched, I've watched, I go back. So I've, no, 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 no. I've watched uh, the first showcase, right? We watched that a while ago. So if you guys yeah, haven't seen that, go back and find, I think it's like Hogwarts and McDonald's because I was eating McDonald's after I got yes. from work. So go back and watch that live stream. Go check that out. But this is the second showcase, which came out like a month ago. But look, we're not going to talk about my stream schedule a month ago. Back to the good guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, look at his color. Okay, I'm gonna try my hardest not to pause it all like every 10 seconds. I'm gonna I mean, try my you hardest. Can pause as often as you need to to take well, in all the detail and the love of this. Yeah, movie. Uh, yeah, I know. Let me turn you up so I can hear you better. Peace is going to be a really cool addition. He wasn't in any of the films, and that really did upset a lot of people because he is just... He is just really a neat character. Okay, how about that? That should be a bit better. I hope. Or else it's going to be blasting out. Go ahead and talk. 
Uh oh, I don't want to blast okay. anybody. <laughs> no, well, you're not. Uh, you're not blasting me. <laughs> I just, that's so, like, I mean, when I tell you I am looking forward to this being my life for the rest of the year, like, Elder Ring, this is going to be my life for the rest of the year. The Hogwarts Legacy gameplay show is your handsome I know. Here at Avalanche Software, he just posted a tweet earlier today. I can't remember what it was. Or was it yesterday? Guest host, ben Snow. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Thank you so, so much. He's another creator that I, I watch. He's really yeah. very funny, director, but he's Alan very ecstatic. He is so excited. And it's Good to see you again, Alan. Hi. Good to see you again, Mackenzie. Screen capturing gameplay for us, Andrew Corum. Now I remember Alan, but I, don't, I didn't remember. There's Andrew. Today, giving you a taste of the no, I've seen I've seen Mackenzie in a different video. Look at combat using the Dark Arts Battle Arena. Well, the last one I remember her the way she spelled her name. It was awesome. It wasn't the showcase though. No, Mad Madsen. Uh, what's it? Watson right Madsen, Madsen was in the last one. Yeah, look, look at his jacket. Hogwarts, which... oh, holy fuck! Wait, wait, I'm lost. Wait, wait. I know we were playing. I know we were playing, but like, holy fuck. I completely forgot we were in the middle of a gameplay. God yeah. damn. I completely forgot that. <laughs> we just got right back into it. We left off in our last gameplay showcase just outside Hogwarts, which I, I love that we can you can walk out of the castle. I almost forgot what the UI looks like, like the um, HUD looks like. Out into the open world. Mm -hmm. And Alan, I know that's something that you particularly like about. Oh my God, stuff. bro! Ain't no way you can touch all of that shit. <laughs> yeah, Alan. <laughs> there is no way. You can, you can go to. I mean, I guess I see people. I see them flying back here. I see the wizards flying back here. That is crazy. Like how? I just need to know how far it go. It has to stop. They did not create an entire Earth. Um. Well. As far as I know, I believe because I because I, I think it's the summer ASMR. They show you a coastline, so I think there's ocean mm. around it that maybe you might not be able to explore over okay. or in the ocean. Okay, so that, that might be our that, that might be sense. our I, that, I, that uh, I can't guarantee that that I could be totally about, wrong about that. But... Right. <laughs> there's something about kind of like the the sensation. Look at of, man. Uh, and if this oh. were in the Harry Potter realm, that would be Hagrid's hut. Yes. And and I, I, I kind of wanted to talk about. You have no idea how much I've listened to you know, the um are fun for me, not just the um all those feelings of the ASMRs. No, the overview, the uh, I, have I can't think of the name of it. Uh, actually, yeah, like some of the mechanics. In it. The overture. Oh, you can, you see in the lower yeah, yeah, the, the music. Bro, flying around feels so looks so so good. Flying down. You might notice it, it drained I like just and, even the little details, the like how the, the how his jacket, well you know, moves yeah, around in the, even the little strap off the off the broom. We're still trying to yeah, figure out, you know, we're not at the 3,000 yet, we're at the, <laughs> we're at the 11. So, oh my goodness, I just, I'm just so speechless. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. So, there's a different, there's a different HUD whenever you fly, meaning yeah, that so there's different the things that you can do when you're flying versus just standing on your feet. There's this thing right here, which I'm still, which I'm sure is still your health. Um, mm -hmm. But this right here, I'm assuming that's like a nitro, where you can fly faster. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he calls it like a turbo meter. Okay. Don't then, because he's gonna show you what happens when you when you uh, change okay. the way okay. that you fly, right now, so he'll this he'll is get so to it. Beautiful, the world. This looks so. By the way, the I like the little icons that pop up for you. One or can you like? Okay, so that's one of the things I'm a little yeah, concerned so about. He has, when uh, he gets to one of the little um like villages, mm -hmm. you're gonna see a lot of icons on the mini map, and that I don't know if he's playing in easy mode. Like I don't, he's on a dev kit oh, right now, so I'm not right. sure if he's on easy mode or if they purposely put them on there. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I would. I actually could, wouldn't think. That put on, so that put you off. could see them, but I think one, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I think one of the icons is like a Revelio page and like they already kind of show up in the world where they sort of like flash like a little ghosty kind of piece of parchment. Right, I remember and that. I think that's enough. I don't really need it to tell me where all of them are. Where everything, I yeah. want that to sort of be discovery for me. 
So yeah. I'm hoping that if that is really what it's like, I can take them off. Actually, but actually, it could also just be a dev so kit thing where they're putting them there just for showcase right. purposes. And it was so that the I don't know yeah, I get that. what mode he's playing in either. He's oh, in this is mode. crazy. They really developed this much of a world. Yeah. Complete the battle in time. Yeah, and those, those upgrades will make it so that where normally the broom, you can only fly... Um, you can only go at max speed. It's kind of like a turbo meter down there. You can right. only go at max speed without the meter right. going Right, so down. this is the turbo meter, the yellow. And as you raise into the air, you'll notice the meter drop. And so it goes up. Oh! Increase that distance from the ground. And the, the broom owner at, at the sporting goods store in, in Hogsmeade Okay. Perfect the broom and get better at it. And, and I love all these people walking around. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, what are they doing? I love that that mechanic it makes it look alive. To yeah. Kind of stay I want to know if you can, like, stop and talk to them. If there's, like, I mean, I know there's not that. I mean, I'm sure there's that many side quests, but I'm sure they did not design that many side quests to all these random people walking around. Yeah, that makes sense. Just the sound of the wind whipping through. Yes. Oh, there's a version. Um, I think it's called IGN posted it. Mm -hmm. There's versions of this showcase without the commentary so that you can just hear. <laughs> Oh. the sound of the game oh boy that's so awesome and so and you catch things like conversation of npcs you catch things that the yeah. player itself says and this band playing yeah. or i guess it's not a band <laughs> yeah it's like a what do they call that busker or something like that i can't hear the i can't hear the sounds though smaller locations that that wizards might live in out in the scottish highlands and so and so we refer to those as hamlets and they're opportunities to learn those wizard stories um how those different locations have kind of like learned to live what their relationships are with characters at hogsmeade and hogwarts yeah, that house see how is many so icons awesome. are on the mini map now yeah i see what you're saying get to know more of the area yeah i'm sure they wouldn't have all of those icons on there i mean not for not for us i mean and, uh, unless like it is an easy mode but oh look at the little kid trying to fly can participate in you know whether it's a vendor uh Lower Hogsfield, Hogsmeade. Uh, Aronshire. I can't, I can't read too much of it. Besides Aronshire, I think somebody called that Brock Burrow and Iron. Something. Is there anything significant with some of those places besides Hogsmeade and Lower Hogsfield? Um, <laughs> no, because we didn't really get too much on the outside of Hogwarts in the books, except for. Oh yeah. Maybe the last couple movies, and most of it was in London. So, okay. no, not to me anyway. Or different secrets. Okay. But I could be missing um, lore. That I'm I sure. Don't know about. I mean, I'm sure it'll probably be like side missions or something like that to, that'll explain those places. Yeah. Requests. On your map or off in the distance. Those things are opportunities to say, like, I want to increase my inventory capacity. There are puzzles left behind by old wizards you know that you can solve that actually grant you those uh if you mm. see ruins off in the off in the distance and you visit them you might find opportunities to actually expand and learn about your ancient magic and as you, oh, that's as cool. you kind of encounter different enemies dotted on the landscape sometimes so see here's a revelio page it's going to be on your right see what's it? up guys welcome to my channel Hold on. joshua lock Whelan. yeah right there i see yeah. it what's up Raz? So, what's up josh but, uh, and if you look at your mini map, right there is an icon that points out where that is. So you're is that this right is that this yellow one right here or no? No, 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 no that's no. this one. Yeah. So yeah. like, do I really so if need I go both? Backwards. Yeah. Like, do I really right, I need what you're the saying. icon yeah. and that? Yeah. So maybe pro probably it's just the dev kit that's showing of, the, of these. But yeah, that's if you de you can I definitely thought. easily easily miss this. What's up, guys? Uh, this is Hogwarts Legacy. It comes out February tenth, right? February 10th? Corinne? What? Oh, I didn't know you were talking about it. Is it February 10th that it comes out? Uh, For PlayStation 5, the, X for the yeah. Xbox and PC, yes, it comes out. Current gen is 10th. PlayStation February 10th. Um, uh, I have the deluxe edition, the seventh, so yeah, I'll be, you'll get three I'll have days it early access. Three, two or three days early. So the 7th is, is when I get it? I thought it was the 8th. Yeah. Well, I need to make sure no, I take no, off for the 7th <laughs> and the 8th. Because I was yes. going to do 8th and 9th <laughs> and 10th. Three tenth. days early access. Okay. 
72 so, hours. So. Hell, oh yeah, it did say 72 hours. It did. Yeah. Um, but it comes out for PlayStation 4, and it comes out for last gen in, in, in April. Um, April. And no, it is not an exclusive. No. Yes, but how y'all doing? Good to see y'all. Welcome in. Thank y'all for being here and hanging out. I know I'm not playing video game, but you know, Hogwarts Legacy is the shit. So Dark Wizards <laughs> might be hoarding different. Uh, it's going to be the shit. Sources that are valuable it is. And everybody's game. really so concerned. You see how that chair is highlighted? Yeah. yeah. Like, does that mean you can throw it, kind of sit in it? What happens? Culture. Everybody <laughs> wants to be able I mean, to sit. Just cover we did find out we can jump. Jumping is a mechanic. Yeah, I think we talked about that before. Yeah. yeah. Flown on a broom already. Oh, here's your. This is going to be your favorite part of the whole thing. I bet any money. Um, we're gonna hop on our onyx hippogriff here. The onyx hippogriff. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Now, in combat, that will take way too long to pull out, but. <laughs> oh, please fly, 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 fly. fly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gets a health bar because you can, you can do combat. Oh, you can do combat on him because he just got a health bar. Yeah, no, he just got a health bar. Your health bar. It's your health bar. Not oh. Yours, yours. Oh. Well, still, you get a health bar when you're in, when you're in the sky. Yeah, I, we still don't know if you can do combat. We don't. We, you might be able to get knocked off of it. Yeah. Sometimes it's really nice to get. Or or damage while you're flying, but I don't know that you can actually do combat while on it. Oh my god. That's because so notice cool. your notice your that is so notice cool. your skill bar is gone. Like your your spell diamond is gone. Yeah, that's true. Back. I mean, just like, and just being able to go wherever you want. And we tried to I mean, I could legitimately so just sit here and just fly around this this land. Yeah. Oh man, that's so cool. I like the so way cool. the feathers move so cool. and his tail right. and the. Tool wheel is used for dealing higher level. No, so you can do combat. The tool wheel L1 is used for dealing with higher level combat situations. Combat plants and potions can give you an advantage against tougher enemies. Level yeah, what are you going to use? Bob, a dog bog by his tongue? Oh, unless yeah, that's... Where you go, there are regions uh, are like... It's a swamp. There was... They're just it's dueling features. Well, do you see... You see this... Up. You see this little red icon? Red normally yeah. symbolizes, like, enemy. An enemy. Right? And whenever notice, we were back here... it's in the water. There was a bunch of, yeah, I'm going to say, whenever we were back here, there's a bunch of enemies here. Yep. Yeah. Which all there is is just either ground or sky. And why would we care about the enemies on the ground? I mean, I guess they could show the ground enemies. Swampy area. By the way, can you go to? Like, I'm excited the that there are you go, there enemies are like, in and over yeah, the since, water since, because since, that yeah. really enhances kind of my thought. We get to swim, and I, I to you want to <laughs> so bad. Right from that moment, uh, I want to explore the Black Lake. I, I'm, so I'm, find more I really oh, still in my areas. heart of hearts think 90% we are going to be able to swim and and explore the Black Lake. I really do. I think they're hiding it from us, and I. And we've got different types of environments out in the world just to kind of. Uh, pepper your experience, reward you for exploring, keep things fresh. Uh, all those things exist with moving around. So cool. I love that windmill. It's like so rustic. Like I keep forgetting mm -hmm. that this is like beautiful 1800s. Windmill. The Wizarding World we've never really seen yeah, before. The whole ocean. world so looks like it just, amazing. It, it's part of it. Yeah, I, I love this vista too. And and I'm gonna have yeah, that is here. awesome. We're gonna use a bit of dev and magic don't forget. I mean, like, this is like all. This is like. This is like it looks. It looks really good, Joshua. This is like I when I need to do a commentary and I just need gameplay. I can. He's changing the seasons using the dev kit, so he's. <laughs> I just love it so much. They do such a great job, and they do it so quickly too because they've already got everything like done right. so it's gonna right. so it just goes to show when the seasons come when holidays come they can give it that much more like effort to do to go above and beyond because they already got the basics of it down you know and other video games and other video games like they have to first off take the time to recreate the environment you know they've already got that that's so awesome 
felt like when you're reading the books or watching the movies where, you know, you'll see kind of like the title card, Winter, and, and now the landscape has changed. You have to dance really like that when you play this. Dance like that. <laughs> you know, going yeah. through your and what blows my mind, too, is, is <laughs> it's not just everything that you really can see is where you can go, but remember there are secrets <laughs> to discover I, I and really dungeons and people. underground yeah. things and the school as well. Yeah. And places I'm like sure we'll probably find one of those kind of things. Like a thing, so, yeah. I'm sure we'll probably be able to find one of those things where you can like eat it and it gives you like the like the gills to go down underwater and find some like underwater caves. Sick. I don't know how they're gonna do the swimming. I just I feel I, just, I hope so. I feel ninety percent certain it's gonna happen because there's too much potential and it's so much a big part of the Hogwarts grounds. Wait, stop. That it would be really. Uh, okay, I just saw the uh, I just saw the red enemies. So you see him on the map, and he's right yeah. here. Yeah. Well, stop! Stop! What the fuck is that? I don't know what, the what it fuck is. is that? I can't tell from that outline. Clearly, like it's largely about vibes. Oh, weird. Hogsmeade in the evening. There's and I think be, this uh, is a. I think this is a world kind of boss right down, there. Down yeah, the with the with the skull. The skulls. Mm -hmm. the Look, see, right there, over the water. Right. <laughs> Look at the mini map. Kind of yeah, I saw. Oh yeah, I saw, but I don't see right anything. There. Do you see anything? No, no. So it must it be in the water. Underwater. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. In that day night cycle is really cool. Place a few items where you know whether or not you can collect them. Whether or not the other thing that really pushes me towards swimming is that the in the collector's edition, just like you get the dark arts robes with the deluxe, the collector's edition comes with a kelpie robe. And a Kelpie is a yeah, water we did talk about that. Do you think we can fly up to the top of those mountains? Yeah. Oh, bro, that shit would be crazy. I will repeat Alan's words. Anything you see. I just, it's just hard to believe because there's so much to see. I, still can't I know. The fact that I can see Think of what's over there, that mountain. <laughs> right, there might be actually stuff over that mountain instead of. I mean, yeah. it has to be. Like, like I said, imagine like I just need some. I just need some gameplay for commentary, and just I just fly around just in the background commentary. That'd be so sick. Oh, so I like how as you kind of fly around, you get little. Yeah, you get little. And here's the other thing. He's gonna pass. Big -ass over a dock, a lot more time and there's a person, there's a quest giver at the end of yeah. that dock, right there. Uh, yeah. Tell me that's not for a lake thing. Come on. <laughs> Tell me God, that's so lake. sick. Lake yeah. Did you see? Hold on, let me go back. Did you see over here? So I think this, that is like these um, arches. I think that's the bridge. That oh, hold on, let me move this chat right here. I think that's the bridge where the train goes over. I think um, on right. that side is probably where the the Hogsmeade station is somewhere. Do you think? Do you think that there's just this mountain just on this other side, like in between the arches? Uh, I mean, because it'd be sick. It it would be so sick if we could I go through one of those it. arches and like underneath the mountain, like in a cave. Oh, that'd be sick. If you go back to the, uh, I mean, don't go back to it now, but if you go, around, like, you know, later, look at the, the train other track? showcase okay. we already, the other that we already saw. We saw the, um, we saw the train tracks. Uh, yeah, from the viaduct. So, um, the viaduct bridge that they were talking about, remember where there was a, a black cloud that was raining? Yes. From yeah. there, you can see across the lake, is, and you have a better view my, of it. This is what I'm looking forward to. The Forbidden oh, the Forest. Arts? Oh man, look at his freaking outfit. The Dark Arts Battle and it moves. Actually, when you uh, see it in the light, you can see the. Oh yeah, it is reactive or whatever. Yeah, holy yeah. shit. It moves like the portrait. Yo, too. I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to do some dark magic. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, there's another mount coming up. Dark Arts cosmetic set. And, so this uh, is part of the deluxe edition thing. So this is the Thestral. Oh man! So we're going full, full dark. Yes. Yes. But I like this uh, this battle arena. It is a great place. Oh man, that is so that is so beautiful. Let me see the front. Oh. 
interesting abilities for you and, and allows you to, to the light you know, this looks like a completely different amazing. environment you are about to say this is like a completely like different environment and like yeah. obviously because of the lighting the yeah. trees how tall you can you can tell that the trees are so tall because there is not like a, a yeah. glimpse of light coming through at all and like in certain areas, other areas is the trees are so sparse oh man i love that yeah look at his robes you see how it yeah how it moves? Like the portraits um, in the do. In the that, oh, that's so sick. Wait, area. fight waves of enemies in his battle arena with the unforgivable, unforgivable curses. Avada Kedavra, Imperio, and Crucio. As well as the Blasting Curse, Confringo. Confringo? In addition Confringo. to the unique and devastating effects, unforgivable curses break through all shield charms, bro. And pay attention to the sound. So basically, basically they're allowing you, once you learn these, they're allowing you to get more and more practice on them and increase your skills. I wonder if the if the spells like increase in in skill value. You know, like what I mean, like in power value. Just like, uh, you, are you are you kind of understand what I'm saying? Like I, like I know there's this spell, but like if the more you like the more XP, XP you get, you can like put the XP into that skill, and it has you know does more stronger effects. Of that same well, skill, of that same spell, you know. They did talk about the like the main the main. I don't know so much about the dark arts uh, curses because, as you're gonna see here with Avada Kedavra, it's it's a one shot just like it is in the yeah. Films. Okay, that makes so sense. So I don't know that that one can really be increased so much because it's already kind of like an OP sort of thing. I also think that you're not gonna really have access to these curses until much later in the game because of their ability to be like like super powerful but they did yeah. talk in the last in the last showcase about the 69 -E com fire w a n t to shut, find l o v e welcome to my channel what the heck was that okay um <laughs> how the the slottable skills you can so there's a trait system so that you'll be able to add traits as you earn them to your certain skills so like wingardium okay. or like... leviosa might increase to wingardium leviosa and i think inferno or whatever okay so that's what i was skill because i think the incendio skill starts out as something that is very just you you use it and it only hits one person but i think as you increase it in trait wise yeah. It uh, becomes like an AOE that you can use. So right. there is ways to increase them, but I don't know that the unforgivable curses are going to follow that same. That makes sense. I mean, I, I see how they could do that. I mean, that makes sense. Battle arena, that's also true. Uh, the but that's also enough that we're going to get the chance to like uh, practice it over and over. Uh, one of the things yes. that about in the Dark Arts Battle Arena um, that people can but do when you get into is, this arena, is really listen to the sounds of the spells abilities. because so, uh, it is the amazing that they took it to this much to detail. The base game and going to be able to earn, and they can make choices. No peeking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they can also commit to that down with certain talents. But I like how it has like Jesus, that little window that shows you. I'm going to have in this game like Elden Ring. I'm going to have like a thousand hours into this game. And so it's a chance to kind of like and play with the I like how it has the little window that shows that you what the spell looks like. When yeah, that, I like that too. That's kind of neat. But, but yeah. I mean, I know the, you can't the read name and then really probably a brief description. I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure that there's probably like a way of a way for like you to get it. Okay, hold on. To show off combat in general, uh, so I think we're gonna yeah in here. Andrew's gonna start just. Oh, I love this this arena though. Everything you're seeing on the screen. All right. Bam. Oh, stupefy. No, oh, no, that was a no. no, no, I'm saying it has a goal down there of uh, hit a range with stupefy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. You hear the scream oh. when you use the uh -huh. video? Oh. 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 I love the ability to be able to throw things in your environment. Oh, right. Oh my god, this is going to be so awesome. <laughs> oh my god. And they're going to explain the blue bar, the ancient magic bar, so you'll get to see what that does too. Finally. Yes. Like that. 
sign well it's like so in the community what the fuck oh shit that's how it's called yeah the screaming on crucio no he's because he's in pain it's a torture spell it is ancient magic that is yeah so as your as your abilities in the game keep growing and you become exposed to some of the secrets about your own kind of mystery and your own your own abilities um you start unlocking new powers so one of those powers you'll see the r1 button appearing uh throughout yeah. the game uh that's an ancient magic throw we call it that allows you to kind of like draw an object to you and fling it at an enemy um mm -hmm. but whenever you see the r1 right. or the l1 plus r1 appear over somebody's head mm -hmm. um that's an ability to cast a, a very devastating and powerful uh ancient magic so okay. l1 and r1 uh -huh. is your ancient character. magic skill and the way that okay itself oh nice block right there, there. oh come on yes oh my he just, god like, disintegrated him yeah. Oh, holy shit. He literally just turned the ash and flew Yeah, bro, it would be so hard for them to figure out balance in PvP. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. But one of the most effective base ways to build up that meter fast, that way you can launch these devastating attacks whenever you want to, uh -huh. is, is to actually perform combos. So you see that combo here. Right, it's yeah. Like your, your emotions are building up, and then basically that builds up enough that you can attack someone. But as the combo meter builds I mean, the up, rolling, the deflecting. Yeah. And a That's all part. I'm loving this, like, the defensive uh, portion. And there's something that only yeah. Oh, and the, I like the sense, too. The little like little wizard spidey sense that he gets it is funny how i'm not really into harry potter stuff but i like to look at this game yeah yeah i, I mean well, i'm into harry potter stuff even just but, the way like he moves so like the yeah, way that he does I love the dancing his shit wand moves yeah and his legs and everything it just is all so very oh, that blocking intricate so and detailed sick. Look, you turned him into a chicken. chicken. What's going on with the plants yeah. and potions? So oh, that was a nice, really that was like a nice block, like a block, deep blocker. So you can bring the potions and the plants that you grow in the room of requirement into in your, combat, uh, yeah. Essentially kind of help you um, defeat enemies a lot quicker and, and more efficiently. God, so some of the tools that you'll see I love that like block, like deep blocker potions, thing so, or whatever uh, it's, it's called. Yes, it looks so, yeah, it looks so amazing. Come on, come on, come on, troll. So against big oh, enemies, hold on. What did he just drink? But so I hate Harry Potter, but I can appreciate it while making game. I think I'll check it out. Yes, I was encouraged to play the I still want to play. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! For everything. Hmm. You, you know, Joshua, I'm gonna try and be a god. I'm gonna try and be a god. Oh. Mm. Why the Avada? I love this mm. block. This, I love this love combat that. is so sick, bro. Oh. The block was amazing. Oh my god, I love this. I love the, the potions. The different amount of potions. Oh, that block is sick. Oh my god. First off, can we just give a chat? Can we give it up for our gameplay? uh developer here for our gameplay he is fucking it up damn yes and so that's like when we're talking wait wait hold on stop stop let me just read some of these potions okay chinese chop chomping cabbage say that five times fast chinese chomping cabbage and can't even do it formidable chomping cabbages that when released attack nearby enemies chomping cabbage cabbage the seeds can be purchased. Okay, must be so it tells you where you can either purchase the seeds at and how you have to grow it. Okay, and so that's like. wait, stop. My my space bar is such a bitch. Okay, venomous ten ten tentacula tentacula tenacious or backwards backwards when deployed that when deployed tenacious tenac fuck. Tentic, ten, tenacious, tenacious tentacula that when deployed shoot acid at nearby enemies. Sick. Venomous seeds can be found here and must be grown in there. That's pretty sick. Harry Potter has hard work. Yo, like Harry Potter has the, crazy shit. Almost the, uh, setup of the arena. Uh, oh, oh, so if you throw it, okay. 
it acts like a oh kind of shoots enemies i see that's sick that oh no so god like a truly like awful puffy and way to bro yeah exactly. yeah it's, i mean at least cool it, though, at least if not pvp a, go ahead it has a longer um what do you call it uh uh it takes uh, longer to reboot to so retard yeah yeah that's yeah it. um what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Sorry. If at least not PvP co-op. Oh my god. Like, at least co-op multiplayer for us. At least, bro. If we can't fight each other, let's fight together. You can see there's, there's a ton of different things you can use. Uh, the Mandrake is one, so you can pull it out and it stuns with its, like, piercing cry of enemies uh, in, in a radius. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another thing I want to call out uh, that we're seeing on the side of the screen here is these, these dueling feats, which I, I love because I love anything that prompts me to play a game in a different yeah. way, a unique way. Yeah. I don't want to get stuck in yeah. my style, you know? Exactly. Uh, and, and so this is a way to, if you want to get stuck in your style, go for it. If you just want to blast people with spells, go for Ooh. it. But we also want oh my to god inside and out look at homeboy just hanging out stupefied up in the sky that was another um, enchanted, not enchanted ancient magic i'm curious as to how many different ancient magic that we can use things yeah things that there are like i don't know if they're considered spells because i haven't heard him say anything i also like how they target like how you auto target or auto lock onto an enemy how it looks it's not just like a little dot it actually like highlights them that's pretty cool yeah because sometimes i can't see the little dot i do like how a lot of the mechanics in game look very immersive rather than mechanical like it, it doesn't look like a gameplay thing it looks like yeah. a like a world thing we have yeah. things like that makes sense. which is the insta kill. But if you curse everyone before you insta kill this one guy, they can all drop dead for that kind of. Oh, oh my God, that is so sick! Did you hear that? Well, I'm sure you watched this yeah. five trillion times. Chat. He says, if you pretty, he's pretty much saying you can link spells and shit, right? God damn, go away, sixty nine, you fucking whore. Report. Damn. Six nine M E G A. No, no, no. We're not. We're not welcoming them. Shut up, Streamlabs. Chat. Listen. What is that even? And so it's spam. Things like about a cadaver, which is insta kill. But if you curse everyone before you insta kill this one guy, they can all drop dead for that kind of. That's so sick because they're kind of all linked up, and you got them cursed, and and in a certain way. I'm sure that there's specific curses that has link all of them, like like this right here. Character things like that, that misty step that you see um, occasionally being used on the battlefield. These I cannot wait. I love dodge rolls and shields. I cannot wait. It's all about which type of player you feel like you are and whether or not you want to play with prep on the fly or with deliberation. And those are all different options. That is so cool because like, God like, damn, that's so, much, so like, sick. Going on, on the things with so much complexity. And I, I want to just try it myself. I like, wonder how many people you can Imperio at, at one time. Yeah. That ancient yeah. magic, to be honest, feels like much more powerful than just the dark arts. Yeah. Oh, this is so fucking sick. The dark arts away, put those unforgivable oh, curses okay. away. Okay. Uh, heading to the room. I got it. I got it. Is your home within Hogwarts a personalizable space uh, that actually has some utility? This well, is going to be something that I. First off, why am I not watching the whole day? Things and grow things and. Uh, Ooh, what the fuck? Uh, is, why is this looks like ass right now? All right, Andrew's got us in the room of requirement. Uh, where oh, we, we can't wait. Went, Casual mode. I'm, I'm, gonna gonna get, I'm gonna get lost nice in here. I will be in here for hours. Um, and and I think that's a, a good jumping off point. <laughs> jumping off point. Uh, <laughs> for uh, the I can only imagine mistakes. all of the content, <laughs> and, and the all of the <laughs> stuff. Actually, Wait till you see how you can customize you can this space. Your Just you're, um, it's gonna blow yeah, your freaking it's mind. It's important to us that this space really did feel like um, your reflection uh, as a wizard. So you can change the architecture in here. What? Uh, <laughs> different Brother. themes throughout. Uh, starkly different. You heard what she said. Uh, Architect. Really yeah. Oh, this is, this is Look. You oh my take... God! What? <laughs> this is beautiful. We never expected <laughs> oh, it. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> the that's stairs, the railing, the, things, the space behind the vivarium, all objects, of it. Uh, Even the floor. Space, as you can see, so. 
you know, there's like statues that uh-huh. you can do and ornaments and tables and rugs and just a bunch of little things that really every space piece of furniture you see in there you get <laughs> Look, to like we we had an idea that those places where you brew stuff that's where you can change but you can do all of this where do you even get this stuff like there's a and like look how magical store? it looks it doesn't <laughs> yeah, look like right. a game mechanic it looks like an immersive uh, this is see ya <laughs> purchased at Dungeon yeah scrolls and hogsmeade um but also as you engage in different types of gameplay throughout the world you'll be rewarded but with uh, color change that's so cool and you change color. oh my god i don't even know what my first i don't even know how it's what? gonna Basically. look oh my god it's so small <laughs> Like oh my god, I'm so excited for this. And I love how the, the system I'm gonna be I'm gonna be trapped in here because housing is like my end game. And there's gonna be there's game. literally gonna be one stream where the entire yeah. stream well, I mean when I get to when I get early access, I mean I got like three full fucking days. But like five hours gonna be me spinning here trying to decorate this fucking place. Like, and I love the animation, how it like appears. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. We wanted that to look really nice because the but like you can see different things highlighted. So you can see the railing highlights. Yeah, you can change everything over here in the corner, literally everything. The floor highlights. Another yeah. thing that I wanted to discuss is that not only can you wow, <laughs> chat, this is crazy. Like sky bombarded. This is awesome. You saw the other room that goes down those stairs. You see it in the background. The other, yeah, I do see it. I do see it. Areas where, as we had mentioned previously, you'll be growing your plants. You'll be brewing your potions. Right, 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 right. So while you're also, so much. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a screenshot of my room of requirement. God, damn! Stop it! I, this is why, this is one thing I hate about about um, new games and stuff is that there's spam all over new games on streams. We didn't see that the last time we did this. The player will be finding different types of gear that we call it uh, as you progress through the game, mm-hmm. and essentially we just know that that I turn speed shut items off. Items in the Wizarding World can have different magical properties, and as you uh, as you explore and as you adventure and as you defeat enemies, you're going to be finding different pieces of gear um, that have different abilities and that can help you in your journey and are a major part of you kind of growing as a wizard and advancing as a wizard oh, and so it's a huge free damage from the dark bugs free damage from uh, dark wizards whenever oh, that's pretty whenever cool you get a new piece of gear you don't free necessarily from the know Fury. exactly what it does and so okay that's pretty cool inside of the room of requirement that you can conjure it's one of the first things you conjure uh, called an identification station where you can actually bring that oh that's really awesome what its abilities are right yeah that's so cool <laughs> and then as the space advances even further and the space will eventually grow its own rooms and you're going to get new grow its own oh you know, wait, wait hold on this place grows its own rooms and shit hold on wait 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 stop hold on wait he just said it grows its own rooms does that mean the yep. entire like school grows its own rooms or just no, a room of requirement that, just the room of requirement because it grows as you need it so if you need more space i'm sure it gives you more space plus you're gonna have the vivariums i'm getting ahead of myself oh just... what mm. oh yeah, my I didn't god say vivariums. Set up a room, it's a, there are going it's to okay. be more than one vivarium exactly which i don't even know what that is i you gotta so rewrite every book out in a minute. okay 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 and adjust its properties and to tweak what it does and i mentioned earlier that just that you can make be able to look like just anything. i mean i knew the we were going to be able to add things in cus- here uh, but just uh, to be able to change the um, architecture damn. is like a step and a half yeah that is that is awesome too. that is right. awesome those types of things you can use and you can apply a look to any other other look so if you get a piece of gear you put it on you look like that but you can change it to look like whatever you want that's so cool and, and it, like you just you can just put some ability to the sweater but then you can just swap yeah. That ability. Yep. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Whenever you want in the game. I really like that. The loom is specifically about applying uh, traits and. And you and see how one says legendary, uh, then there's extraordinary. Kind of you mm-hmm. Statistical advantage, or give you really specific abilities that w- blend in nicely with where you're trying to go with your combat fantasy or talents and things like that. Superb. I'm just like, I'm just seeing that, that they're just I'm like, assuming green is probably fur, the base, maybe. What, where does that come <laughs> from? Yeah, and so you'll notice that the ingredients that are used to add traits uh, and to upgrade your gear uh, are based around beasts. 
So this is where we get into the beast care uh, section, which is inside this vivarium. Oh. Kind of bigger okay. space this is on the vivarium. inside. This one. Oh, yeah. And so okay. you can see here we have a couple of beasts out. We have a grap horn and a moon calf and a nipper. You're still in the room of requirements. Uh, right. Well. Right. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Just like a big puppy. <laughs> and this way you can go to like practice and hang out with the, your animals. Take care of your, your animals. So yep, this is that's so cool. The, that's so awesome. Well. Come on. Oh. That's when they feel safe enough. Moon calf. Give you their their magical ingredients. So moon calf. Yeah. Um, Niffler fur, etc. Uh, that can. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> they put so much into this game. You know that makes sense because when you yeah, so right, you, you can't you can't just go them. look for shit. And, and bring it back, which would yeah, which would be even which would be awesome. Like you can you so can have the animals feed and train the animals and get the ingredients you need. That's so God, that's that's or, literally genius. And some or of the ingredients them, yeah. come from enemies. So like the mongrels that you fight also give you mongrel fur. So uh -huh. some things you have to get out in the world, and some things you. Well, get yeah, of course. So yeah, like but but, look, but that's still so cool. Purely cosmetic, but they look really cool. Again, it's the personalization. Uh, you get to customize oh, inside the Bavarian. Oh, shit. Dude, this is like, I'm going to spend eight hours just designing. <laughs> Lit literally. To personalize. This is like, yeah. this has been so be long. Play area, like, a like, I'm going to have to do so much, like, off screen playtime just so that way I'm not wasting people's time. <laughs> There's just there's so like much to do aspect. in this game. Yeah, I mean, between also, we, we between the room inside, requirement, uh, well, customization, classes, uh, I'm gonna have to watch. So, as you, uh, I'm gonna have to watch some, like Minecraft quest, videos and see how they make their content discovery. videos of building yes. shit. <laughs> so one of them, for example, is the food processor, oh, fuck. which. Uh, it allows for the beast Yo, this looks so damn magical. That? Go back. So you don't have to do it manually. Back this looks so damn magical. No. That coming out. No, no. One more time. Um, for example. Uh, keep going. I can't see it. You purchase more conjurations. There. You're able to. In that that thing that was right there, As it shows you, you the the uh, feeder and stuff. The game, there. And you're able to purchase more. See how it's a breeding pen. More conjurations. They don't explain it, but you can. There's a breeding pen as one of the things uh -huh. that you can use to put so, in this space. So you can. Oh, you're talking about. As you. Oh. Breeding pen. I right see. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in order to get game, more of the materials, you can breed the animals right. in this space. Process. Right. Which I think is That's, so cool. Example, is it's kind of sexy, but also that. weird. To say to say sexy is what it's weird. And so you're you're really building the progression for yourself here. Um, in addition, there's also a toy box, toy box. Where, you can, oh, <laughs> where you can play so with your beasts. And you'll see here, yeah. So you can um, there's that's a sick. bunch of toys in it. Uh, and you oh my god, this is so sick, so bro. Calf, really like what? Uh, or the needle as like a little cat really likes to chase the yarn ball as well. Right. <laughs> how is this how is this not the most anticipated game of the for 2023? How is this not the most anticipated game? Who is, who the fuck is not anticipating this goddamn game, bro? So by going and rescuing these Wow. them back here. Like I, I, we could have sworn that they were going to get it. Cultures in the overland who want to who hunt I was so mad. I was so you mad. Know that they didn't make it? <laughs> yes. I was so mad. We were sitting there watching it. Maybe it'll get well, game in they'll get, get maybe it'll get <laughs> We also know the grab oh, horn is a mount you can ride too. Yeah. So oh yeah. Back into that personalization. Summon or return to the wild. That's that's cool. And, oh, here's and you can change his name. Like, this yeah. Named, uh, whatever I still want to know if you can go to, in the know. cottage. I don't know if it's just decorative it's or <laughs> if you can actually uh, physically go know, into we've, it. We've created this really nice space. And, oh, um, I see. I see what you're saying. You can get additional vivariums, correct? Uh, it's a different kind of aesthetics. And I mean, if it is just cosmetic, that's uh -huh. fine. But yeah, if you can go in it, that's again another them. step and a half. Part of the space that they well, didn't have to as do. As you progress through the story, uh, you will unlock more of a varium. So as you can see, this one's quite meadow themed, um, big, open, bright. Uh, but there's other ones. I want to create like a fat ass coliseum. 
Um, and it's really a visual effect to uh, and more space. For I want like all of my stuff to look like just straight combat. So when we're inside, always prepare for combat. Left, there's that <laughs> always prepare for combat. I want it to always look like combat. Going on in the ride. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's exactly it. Ah, oh, you put trees in here too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And, and another thing with the, the beast care that I think is, is great, uh, you know, tying back to the same kind of thing. That wow. You, like the broom you can do so much so the fast with the, the, with the mechanics. Actually built in and integrated into the yeah. Wow. In the same way, like beast care isn't just this, this added element. You're not just throwing it on top. There's really this like narrative and, and integration to yeah, everything. everything. So the rest of the missions will expand the space. Um, Oh, I can't wait. Burn resources, you'll go into Hogsmeade and, and use them to uh, unlock the gameplay here and, and unlock new oh, shit. and different things to play around with. And unlock more and stuff to put down there, too, I guess. Those different, um, in those yeah, and he like said as you, as you progress through the missions, the it will expand the space. Yeah, the yeah. Land. Those things are what hold. So you can expand for, uh, each space, plus you get more than one Bavaria. So like that's all these things have crazy. A way of connecting um, Moonstone that you find out in the world is the resource that we use to conjure everything that's found throughout the world. Um, forgeables are used for recipes. So really, everything's like a everything's like a cycle and keeps you coming back. But even with the story that's being told too, I, you know, I think people know who Poppy is and and uh, that she. They're really going for a. Um... Uh, I mean, I think like an infinite game, kind of like Minecraft and Final Fantasy, not even Final Fantasy. Wow, they're going for a for a massive game. I mean, MM, MMO, right? For a mass, except minus that multiplayer part, like massive game that is continuous. God. Yeah, uh, I've said it before. Kind of this all, this kind of very much the, like Lord of the Rings is here. such a vast well, we world to be in. Here, the Wizarding World is now. too, what and I feel it does have the full today? potential to be an <laughs> MMO. <laughs> so maybe is, this yeah. is like their first so step. See how this how open world sort of thing goes, and then maybe that's the next step in a couple of years or or whatever that they'll go into that. Because I I really think with the Wizarding World basically all over the world. Like, could you imagine? Like, what if an expansion world, instead of going like, to hogwarts so you go to the wow. wagadu school this, which is in africa or you go to the wizarding school the in the americas the or Ermstrang or bobaton that we saw the in the fourth Thank movies you so like for being here Thank wouldn't you for that be watching. neat hogwarts legacy man for pre-order now it releases february 10th with 72 hour early access for owners of the collectors deluxe and digital deluxe edition we're gonna wrap things up but first we've got a little surprise for you what's that Oh, you're going to see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. No. <laughs> I was not ready for that. No. No. How? So there's a lot how does of he, theories. How does the, it's the book. That that that's That's the collector's edition book. Brother, I'm not ready for this. What part of the story is this? Like, like what know. part? I just need to know what part because there, there's no way that this is that. Like, this is obviously going somewhere else, completely different. Like, and it reminds me of like Tom Riddle. Right. So there is a lot of connection to the movies that we saw. So one of the theories about this particular book is that it's either Merlin or Morgana's. Because that's the whole theory that's going around is this is a big Merlin story. Not that I disagree with that. I'm just, you know. Uh -huh. um, so my theory is, is, okay, so I don't think that they're going to completely copy the Tom Riddle journal. The, so the right. Tom Riddle journal took you into it and you were shown a memory. I don't know that they're going to do it exactly like that. So I don't know that you're going to see a memory when you're in there. But here's my theory. Right. What if... Okay. So remember how in the first... Um, state of play it said that the the creatures in this world were corrupted 
and you've seen corruption all over the world outside of the Hogwarts castle. So yeah. my theory is, is that we are some sort of descendant of Merlin, which is why we have this ancient magic. And that book is, I think, a history of ancient magic and of Merlin and Morgana's story. Oh. I think what happens is, now here's my thing, I think what happens is, is somebody got a hold of the book and altered history and therefore corrupted it, and that's why our world is now corrupted. I think we have to go into the book, and we have missions inside the book, like in past memories, to Holy fix it. Shit. And as we fix the book, we fix our world. That's my theory. Uh -huh. I could be entirely wrong, but that's what I think it is. I yeah, think I if almost... we fix the corruption in the book of that history of magic, I think that we will eventually start to fix the corruption in our own world. So there might even be two worlds or two time frames to play in. Maybe. Or it could just be memories. It could be Merlin memories. But the book has that weird yeah. black. It makes me smoke think of like. It, which makes me think something is wrong with it. And something only be yeah. It. And also because this this is so vastly open world, it makes me think of like like a pork, like, yes, a, pork key like a pork key to another. Yeah. I want to say it has to be open world because well, it doesn't have to be open world. They can make it very much. I would think not more world. time than but than yeah alternate yeah more time think it would yeah be time yeah then yeah that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and like maybe oh, as so we cool. learn more ancient magic, then maybe we'll be able to do more yeah. in that space to fix whatever happened. I think like somebody purposely altered something to change it to their their benefit here, in other words. Mm -hmm. And that like mm -hmm. if we fix that, then ours then ours gets fixed. I, that's just my theory. There's a lot of other theories going around that it could be Morgana's book and not Merlin's at all. And that's why it's dark right, guys, or looks dark. Today we've got some so, I mean, I, I'm i not saying that theirs is wrong either. I just, I don't feel that they're going to do memories because everybody thinks it's going to be a memory. Oh wait, my God, it's like Tom Riddle's dark. They haven't done exactly. Like they've had nods yeah. to things. But they've they, not done yeah. exactly. Right, because the, so, the whole premise is we need to make this game different the, the from story, the existing story. The story right. before. So there should Correct. be some things where it should be like, oh, I guess that's where this came from. Whenever we're right. whenever we're playing the game. Like there should be origins, but not necessarily storylines. Right, you and know. little nods that'll yeah. get you to be like, you really yeah. excited and think about the Wizarding right, World of Harry exactly. Potter, but it's supposed to be very vastly different because it's supposed to yeah. be your story and not his. Right. So they might come close or at least show nods to things, but I don't think that it's going to be an exact thing like, okay, here's a book you get to go in for memories because we have the pensives and the pensive is how you look into memories like you did in the... Uh, Dumbledore's pensive is how you saw memories that he had and there's a pensive in that big room where that big Merlin statue is yeah. that you also get to use so we know that they're there so why do memories in a book if you can do memories in a pensive I would think that would be a little overkill so that's why I think yeah. that's going to be vastly different <laughs> well let, let's see what this bad news is that he has to say have you seen this video might not live up to the insane hype. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I did see this. I don't. Like the perfect blend of fans you don't know agree? Genuinely solid gameplay, but as the release date gets closer, it's hard not to get a little bit cynical about all of the things that could go wrong. And I'll be honest. Yeah, I see, I don't feel that way though. Legacy through rose-colored glasses, mainly because I'm a fan of the franchise, and I am looking forward to the game like this. But it is undeniable that the modern gaming industry has been doing us dirty over the last few years so when a game like hogwarts like i mean that is true and promises to be this amazing yeah but <laughs> the difference between those and this is that fans of the franchise are the ones creating the game very much exactly and they have been taking so much time and so much effort and so much excitement and enthusiasm to create the world that they would want to play in for 
fans. No what. There so, are a ton of things that could lead to this game's failure, and as much as I don't want that to happen, I feel like they're at least worth talking about. So let's get off the hype train for well, a I mean, I do want to hear what, look at what he has what to say, you know. Uh, of you, because if there's one thing that the modern gaming industry has taught me, it's that you really can't be too cynical about these things anymore. Real quick, guys, I'm giving away a PS5 and a game of your choice. I'll leave the details at the end of the video. So definitely enter that. The winner will be announced. So if you want one, enter. Hogwarts enter. I'll put the link in it. Avalanche software, which probably isn't a studio that many of you are familiar with. The company was founded in 1995 in Salt Lake City, Utah, and were mainly known for pumping out games for Disney during the mid to late 2000s. In fact, if you were playing Disney games on the PS2 or PS3, you probably played at least one of Avalanche Software's games. This is the game studio behind games like Meet the Robinsons, Chicken Little, Bolt, Toy Story 3, and Cars 2. Disney fans know the mid to late 2000s as kind of a dark age for the company, and the games kind of reflected that. Disney actually bought out Avalanche Software in 2005 and basically had them on retainer for pumping out games for their new movies and while none of these games were amazing you can't really blame the developers for that i mean what are you supposed to do when disney calls you up and tells you to make a chicken little game in 10 months or something Literally. ridiculous like that but interestingly things sort of turned around for avalanche with the release of disney infinity in 2013 which was a surprisingly good sandbox game that merged all of disney's properties into one giant game world if you never played disney infinity games they were genuinely pretty good especially for fans of those movies and franchises but after a few years merchandise sales were down disney infinity revenue was in the toilet and disney completely shut avalanche software down in 2016. thankfully for us warner bros interactive swooped in the following year bought avalanche software reopened the offices and immediately put them to work on a massive harry potter game while i'm glad avalanche was saved one of the main concerns people have with this game currently is the simple fact that it's way bigger than anything they've done before and it may be a bit yeah. out of their range hogwarts legacy is a freaking huge game the game right it's is massive, huge on top of that it's filled with thousands of npcs creatures enemies there are dozens of storylines quests spells skill trees oh and man so on, so forth. i'm so ready for it oh Hogwarts Legacy seems too. like it's an absolutely massive title and it's easy to right. be a little concerned when you remember that it's being made by the same people who made the freaking chicken little game granted there's not the same developers <laughs> yeah there. but at the same fucking time you can't you, you yeah it's not the same developers one Two, they all hands on deck for this. The, the the people that are developing are are the leaders of the fans. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't just Here. say these are the same people who. I mean, in that in that case, you got freaking um. From software has made ass games, but look at them. You know, not every game that they've made is ass. I'll give you that. I mean, literally all all of their Souls style games are fucking. Phenomenal. but they have some they pass some small games you can't just sit here and say just because it might be a bit too um promising or overwhelming from it like no that's not gonna be a fucking that's not a reason not all games are good yeah not all games are good but at the same time like they since literally what 2015 this has been in development that's eight years now no eight years you're talking about this game yeah he said in 2015 20... it got taken over by w Oh, 2018? Oh, 2018 is when they started designing this game. I didn't know if you were talking about that or about what okay, they actually did. No, over okay. Avalanche. 2015, WB took him over. And then eventually, I guess yeah. they told him to. Yeah. Currently, yeah. That's not a reason. I'll I dispel that. Game. Hogwarts Legacy is also being co developed with Port Key Games, another studio that was formed by Warner Bros. And maybe I'm not being the most charitable, but Avalanche's track record isn't that great. There's no way around Good. that. For an experienced RPG, That's studio, fine. Hogwarts Legacy would be a pretty massive undertaking. So I can only imagine how much of a shift this game must have been for the studio as a whole that mainly focused on short, small scale 3D platformers. I'm not saying it's impossible, and I don't want to sound like a developer can never change their direction, but this is a huge huge change no matter how you look at it and you have to wonder if they were truly up to the task now this isn't the yeah, first but time where look a at it <laughs> right that right that look at it look at it i mean like regardless of the fact regardless of the fact of them not of them doing smaller style smaller scale games even if they even if they only know how to do smallest scale games the proof is in the pudding there's multiple different ways to fucking traverse around the lands there's multiple ways, there's multiple thousands of Easter eggs that they put in. The the building of everything, it, it seems like what they actually did was take simple game features and, and, and figure out a way to make them and combine them without being complicated. 
They, if you want fucking Sims interaction with animals, you got that shit. If you want flying interaction, you got that shit. Basic combat that's in every other like RPG combat game, you've got that shit. Like the, the, the progression system is all basic stuff. So even if yep. they have small brains, it's all very basic stuff that they've that they've that they've smartly and intelligently pieced together for one massive game. I'd rather that than them being too, you know, too whatever the word is about shit like Call of Duty nowadays, where they're just trying to make shit a lot more condescending than or whatever the word is I'm looking for. Uh, convoluted. There we go. Where they're trying to do things so much more convoluted than it needs to be. You know what I mean? And they if took they got so much time to include everybody, not just Harry Potter fans, but gamers. So, like, if yeah. you, like you it's said, like, right. there's things for basically Sims. There's things for flying in combat. There's mm -hmm. discovery and riddles and, and puzzles. And there's dungeons. Literally everything. And there's arenas to fight in. If you need to just there's... get the fuck away from something, from your, yeah. your stressful day, and just come and fly around or something, you could just do that. And, and and probably never see the same thing unless you go to the same thing to the same place. It sort of looks and like Elder Ring with the open world style. Yeah, that that too. I wish we could they, fly like this for real. They have such a an in depth um, soundtrack and right. you know all the artwork that they did and so the who time cares that if they've it's small? Taken, just the time that they've taken, the enthusiasm right. that the team has. Like I couldn't have asked for a better dev team. Exactly, they, are they they're they pumped. are phenomenal. Like we they don't get this pumped. level of of communication, even pre-launch. Like well before yeah. that, we don't get this this much development time yeah. or or development developer love and all this shit. We don't get that. Chandler and his team for the community watch everything. They see mm -hmm. all the content that you guys do as creators. They see everything on Twitch. They watch the Discord. They do they, literally everything. everything. They're, they're all over and, Reddit. I'm and just Alan, the guy in the middle that's been talking. Yeah, do you see how excited awesome. he is? You Every time he talks about anything. And most yeah. and he, yeah. is, he wants to tell us this everything. Would be a and good I know that he can't. To, this would be a good game to come and watch Charming play. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so sick. I just you guys know I love me some combat. Ooh. Okay, okay. I just that uh, we're dispelling that entire thing. Next 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 reason why it's gonna be bad. Shadow of uncertainty surrounding Hogwarts legacy for a lot of gamers. Granted, this could be the reason why they've taken their time with this project. Project. And I'll never be upset at a studio for taking the time they need to make sure this game is as exactly. good as possible. And I will happily use right. words if this ends up being amazing, as I think it might be, and as much as the Harry Potter fan in me wants it to be. But to the people that are concerned about whether or not Avalanche Software is actually up to the task of a large scale game, is this all you're going to talk about? I hear you and I empathize. The modern gaming ecosystem is full of disappointment. Everyone knows about Cyberpunk 2077. For me, the Cyberpunk 2077 launch I don't. was personal to me. The <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lot about it. Yeah, Cyberpunk came out and people were completely disappointed. Because it was so genuine and I was very naive and I got that same feeling watching the initial Hogwarts Legacy reveal trailer. But let's not fully open up the Cyberpunk 2077 wounds. Either way, there have been a lot yeah. of dramatically missed the Oh, that library. I saw a new no. angle of that and I'm so excited for it. Fallout 76. And I know Marvel's Avengers. They released a lot of new content in the last Marvel week. Avengers was asked who should just wait and see instead of this it which right yeah 100% and like and I get at the same time people should wait and see before over hyping you know it's something that people have been doing in gaming for years now over hyping or over dissing or whatever the word is yeah I'm sure it'll be probably buggy and fixing it later that is if they feel like it I mean Hogwarts Legacy is being published by Warner Bros, which is the same company that recently released the incredibly underwhelming and 30 FPS on PS5 Gotham 
important not to have a little voice in the back of your mind that says this might be the same thing. Now, to Warner Brothers' credit, they did give out Gotham Knights copies incredibly early, which that same thing can't be said with a game like Callisto Protocol, that while I did receive the game early, it was under embargo, so I couldn't really express my concerns until the game was already pretty much released. So if I can just say this, I really implore WB Games to give out copies of Hogwarts Legacy like they did with Gotham Knights early and make sure that the review embargo is lifted prior to the game releasing so that consumers can make an educated decision. Granted, I don't think there's going to be as many technical issues with Hogwarts Legacy as there was with Gotham Knights, as long as their promise of delivering a 60 FPS mode for Hogwarts Legacy is still happening for next-gen consoles, then that alone would alleviate many concerns. One thing I do hope though, one, one concern of mine is, it, stop, stop, mouse, or oh, dang, uh, I did and it was not even necessarily made up for, one thing I am hoping though is that it runs well on PCs. It's a lot of new games right now that are coming out that just do not run well on PCs. It's just too fucking much. I really hope that is optimized. Like that 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 is one concern of how just but that's for all new games. I mean, no no matter how large they are, like uh, most of them right now are coming out and it's just so massive. I'm, and I'm like, why the fuck? Like I understand like they they want the 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 size to be whatever, but I really hope it's just optimized. That's that's just my concern. I hope it's optimized. Hogwarts Legacy has that performance and that graphics mode, and it's not filled with bugs and glitches. Then I don't think we're gonna have anything similar happen to this game that happened with Gotham Knights. Now, yeah, I really Legacy cannot wait to personalize this entire place. It's delays, and Hogwarts Legacy is no stranger to those. This game started development that's all the way back in 2017. Because of console holding PC back. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> actually real likely due to a series literally because of that everybody just needs to get a pc announced until late 2020 but even then it was supposed to come out in 2021 the game was later delayed to 2022 and then again to 2023 and then after that yeah but i'm okay with the delays if it makes it so i'm okay with the delays i'll be all right with the delays it's gonna be awesome xbox one and ps4 versions of hogwarts legacy are set to launch on april 4th almost two months after the pc and courage gen release and the switch version was pushed back all the way to july i do feel bad for those that have to wait versions yeah getting delayed even further or just canceled outright again this game is being but i believe the devs but i would imagine that it pc is fucking sweet i would imagine though that another reason why they do that is so that way they can make sure that you know optimization is primal and that yes. you know they give the the right resources to the right things first right because the devs are they're the thing they keep repeating is that they are so they're so excited for for the fans to experience their world and they want them to have the best experience possible so i understand the delay i feel bad that they have to wait but i cannot wait to do these some dark arts oh some dark magic like where is that is that in the school is that outside of the school is that in a dungeon i can't wait to see where all these places are where everything is like just yes good out a map of ourselves <laughs> for everything Hogwarts Legacy has fallen Imagine down. building a virtual, like a digital map. Different versions. Yeah, I'm dying to see the map. It's... I don't mean to sound like a cynic through all of this because <laughs> this is done well. Hogwarts Legacy could end up being one of my favorite games of all time. I'm dead serious when I say oh. that this game could end up being played for years on end, like Skyrim mm -hmm. or The Witcher 3. Aside from yeah. the fact that Harry yep. Potter fans everywhere will finally have the game that they've been waiting decades for. This could for be a literally, to get like almost two decades. And finally literally, like, yeah. The, franchise. I grew up the combo is time ago. I know I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna be a beast. I'm gonna die a lot first, but I'm gonna be a beast eventually. <laughs> Joshua, did you see me play the first God of War? Or well, not the first God of War, but did you see my first God of War gameplay? I was a beast. Shame because this universe is amazing, and there's so many great stories that could be told. If Hogwarts Legacy yeah. is done well, it could not only be a fantastic fantasy game about a magical world in an awesome wizarding academy. But it could also be the gateway that new Harry Potter fans need to discover this world and mm -hmm. experience these amazing Exactly. Stories. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Hogwarts Legacy to be good, and I truly think it will be, but I would Yeah, I I do want to know where this is. 100% confident in the final product, especially after we've been burned. No, I didn't watch, but I watched it. No, it's on um it was it was when I was on Twitch. I don't even know why I asked that Joshua. With the not so great reputation that licensed games have, Hogwarts Legacy really seems I think I probably have like maybe two or three vods of it on YouTube. 
I can't help but get hyped all over that's about it. And I know I'm not the only one who really yeah. wants this game to be good. And if it lives up to expectations, it could completely change the industry. And I really mean that. If Hogwarts Legacy is a great game, brother, I can only imagine the the content that I make. It will finally prove that if we had from a if we had um and space quit it. I can only imagine the games and the videos that I make. And the massive size of a game like this. Like, it'd be like this, chat. But I'm still super Stop. excited to get my hands on this. Stop it. And see if it it'd be like this, chat. It'd be like this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, today I have an amazing video for you. Some awesome gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. When me and the boys got together and we had some brews and played some good old Quidditch. Now, in today's game, all I got to tell you is me and the boys, we, we got with them. But if you're excited to watch this gameplay, go ahead and do me a favor. Just do, just do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your favorite part while you're down there. Make sure you also ring that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in this video. Have a beautiful goddamn day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, I know you guys missed it. I know you guys miss it. I know y'all miss it. I know y'all miss it. I know you guys miss it. <laughs> I need to I need to stop like doing them in my videos. I was hyped for 2042. I put not a good intro. One take, chat. One fucking take. And I truly don't want that to be the same case for this game. So hopefully Avalanche Software are up to the task, and I really think they may be. The wait will be over soon. Yeah. This so this guy's argument is basically just Avalanche is too small and they're taking on a much bigger task than what they can and they delayed it. And now he thinks there's gonna be lots of bugs. Got it. All comes together in the end. But yeah, guys, that is gonna wrap it up with this video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm giving away a PS5 and a gaming group. Yeah, yeah if you guys want his PS5, I I'll link. I agree with what he's saying because yeah, I no, really think either. that they've they've taken too much time and too much effort and too much hard work to make it as if you guys want to watch that video as possible. But they have released a lot of stuff in the last week, so um they showed us in the hogwarts legacy discord um people that are the actors What's that are doing guys? the voices for certain characters they showed us background on we finally got um phineas black as the headmaster um matilda oh, yeah, weasley, you saw those. matilda weasley as the uh deputy headmistress and transfiguration teacher um mm -hmm. they showed us the astrology teacher uh, not his mother is the divination teacher, so they did show a lot of new stuff recently. What Accio is going to look like and the different ways you can use it. Same thing for what was the other one? Um, oh my god, I don't remember what the other one. Was. Do you do you see this? If you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you are a bad person? Question mark. Is that yeah. is that really a question? If you, have you I've seen this seen video? That too. If seen you buy that. Hogwarts Legacy, are, are you a bad person? Why? What? Tell me. But I don't want to waste my time. Why would they tell me that I'm a bad person? Because it means that you agree with J.K. Rowling's thing about. Oh my god! People. Oh my god! Get over yourselves. So if if you if you buy the game, you agree with her, therefore making us guilty by association. Get over you! Oh my God, people are ridiculous. Seventeen things you need to know before you buy. Hogwarts Legacy. I like this. I like these people. Gaming Bolt. On February tenth, twenty twenty three, for Xbox Series X and S, PS five, and PC. Having recently gone gold. You think there'll be anything in this that we don't already know? Versions arrive in April, while the Nintendo Switch version is out in July. But what can current gen players expect with the magical action RPG? Let's take a look at eighteen things you should know before jumping in. Is this called seventeen things? Story. Set in the 1890s, about a century before the first Harry Potter book, Hogwarts right. Legacy focuses on the player character as they enter the Hogwarts School of Right, Chess. So if you guys need a quick update, here we go. Here's a nice crash course on everything that we know so far. And I'm pretty sure Crane knows more things. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty I sure. I mean, I, I am lot. positive. <laughs> 
but Crash Course on all the stuff we know so far. The basic shit. God, that, that fucking orange looks so damn good. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to make a Harry Potter mask. <laughs> Get the game. I love your mask so much. Y'all, make sure y'all check out Razzle Dazzle Ray. I have her first YouTube video posted on my, my community. Uh, my community post. Who leads a group of dark wizards and Ranrock, leader of a goblin rebellion. The latter is sick of goblins being mistreated by the wizarding world, and you'll often of go up against them throughout the story. As for Rookwood, he might be related to Augustus Rookwood, a Death Eater and follower of Voldemort. The Dark Wizards and mm -hmm. goblins have an alliance of sorts, but we've yet to see how this influences the story's direction. Other threats you'll encounter include massive trolls, giant spiders, and even dragons. <laughs> I don't a pretty large location. I gotta show off this face. Classrooms, dormitories, and even some dungeons to explore. A whole lot of fake dungeons. The area uh, not fake dungeons, hidden dungeons. Also pretty extensive, from the Forbidden Forest to the village of Hogsmeade. It's massive in scope, mm -hmm. from plains and rivers to mountains, and offers different activities and characters to interact with. Character creation. There is a yep. suite of options fully customizable character, starting with multiple presets. From there, you can adjust the face shape, skin color, glasses, and their type, hair color, hairstyle, complexion, scars and markings, eye color, eyebrow shape and color, voice, and even choose a dormitory. Okay, so I sent you all the stuff we got in the last Harry week, Potter too. OC to life. And the uh, Discord? Or worse. Yeah, houses. I sent it to your... Hogwarts I consists of four you. houses. Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. And the player can choose theirs from the outset. Each house gets a unique dormitory and common room, from Slytherin being in the oh, you said, okay, you said, you said, Gryffindor too. in a high tower of the castle, and much more. It adds to the immersion when choosing a house, though earning points for it is out of the player's control. Activities There is a lot to do in Hogwarts Legacy, from attending classes, which play a part in developing the plot, to completing quests, challenges, and the wizard's field guide. You can also brew this potions, fucking work, craft bro. items and gear, grow plants, tame and ride beasts, find collectibles, and engage in mm -hmm. tools. Bonding with NPCs will see them accompanying you and lending a hand, besides offering unique dialogue. Combat. Okay. Magic is pretty devastating in Hogwarts. Combat, I can't fucking wait. This is like my favorite part about all of it. My favorite part of all of it. They go on cooldown once used. In terms of spells, cooldown time. Yeah, that's what it was called. and Leviosa, with the latter suspending an enemy in midair. Leviosa. Counter with Stupefy and more. Basic attacks are also sick. Helping to combo enemies. As you progress, you'll need to break through shields with spells corresponding to that color, like four spells for purple shields. However, enemies can oh, break your Okay, that's what I didn't know. <laughs> flying. Yeah, that's why the spells are color coded. Yeah. Yeah, I see. By using brooms, players can fly blue, through yellow, the world, purple, and red. trees and adjusting altitude. Creatures like the oh, that blue I thought it was black. Traversing on the ground or hippogriffs, down. hippogriffs. Certain race challenges and classes require your broom, so brush up on those skills. Really no cool. playable quidditch. Despite we know, we know, just attacks, skip, no skip, we know, we know this. For this but Damn this it! Mean the sport won't make any appearances in game, and who knows, it may be added down the line if there's enough demand and development resources. Dark arts. As one plays through the story, they'll unlock Dark Art spells, aka the Unforgivable Curses. These include Imperio, Crucio, and the Forbidden Avada Kedavra. You can even use certain talents to commit to that path, perhaps hinting at an alternate story path. Perhaps there will be a Dark Arts path to follow and an ending for players to unlock. Yes, Dark I can't Arts wait to find out which house to play through first. What if you don't want to go all Voldemort? Well, you already, populace? we already know Raz's gonna be, uh, she's gonna be a, a, a Hufflepuff. She's gonna be a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, I am. Various enemies and undertake <laughs> challenges. Just cause she's so sweet. And tools from the room of requirement like all the Hufflepuffs. Boost. During a recent live stream, the developer confirmed two combat arenas in the base game, which could hint at more coming later. Completing okay. them grants new cosmetics for your character. Room of Requirement. The Room of Requirement is famous in the Harry Potter series, appearing when the mm -hmm. person has a great need for it and containing exactly what they need. In Hogwarts Legacy, it's a customizable space for the player, which they can decorate Completely with objects, 100% and fully with customized. Stations also customizable and upgrade gear using the loom. The I saw them change the ceiling and it blew my freaking like mind. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy awesome. And rarity. That's crazy awesome. 
It is 11.44 p.m. for me, Joshua. Vivarium, ...where players can care for different beasts like the Graphorn, Niffler, Neasel, and Mooncalf, which you can also name. Petting and feeding them provides ingredients for customizing and upgrading gear, but it also looks nice to hang out and play with them, with a chest full of toys available. Like the room, the Vivarium is customizable, whether it's different structures and vegetation like trees or statues. PC Requirements Based on everything we've seen thus far, it's interesting how low the system requirements are on the PC. Minimum They're lying. requirements include an Intel Core i5 Ain't no fucking way. Or AMD Ain't no fucking Intel way. Ain't no uh, they actually fucking have new way. ones. No way. New they system requirements? Released... No way, wait, wait, wait. They actually released the official requirements for the game. Give me one second and I'll find it for okay. you. Okay. Okay, because ain't no damn way you mean to tell me a 1070. Ain't no fucking way. Here. Discord. No, 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 wait. How do I get this to you? Uh, copy message link. Did that, did that work? I don't know if that worked. Try that. <laughs> I don't know if that works or not. Okay, I see. Yeah. Let me put this over here. Because I'm like, ain't no fucking way in hell. So they have minimum recommended, and then they have the two higher, like, HD and 4K requirements. So it's... Minimum recommended. 960? A not, no fucking, no way. No goddamn way. Yo, if 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 this is true, I have to go I have as I have AFL preseason training soon. Alright, well good luck, have fun at, at uh preseason. Joshua. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate you being here. Yo, this me if if this is literally what they're saying that you're gonna need minimal and recommend it. I'm concerned. Either I'm concerned or I'm extremely happy. Because, I mean, I have a 3060, I think. I have a 3060 um, GPU. And it'll run this shit, like, easy as fuck. Especially if these are the minimum recommended. But that either means that if, if it's this low, they're sacrificing a whole lot of graphics, of graphical power, you know what I mean? Or they really, really, really optimize this. Got a lot of running to do. Oh, well, have fun. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 Ultra specs. Okay. 2080. And Ultra 4K specs. 3090. Okay. All right. RAM 32. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. I, that part, I'm okay with. I, okay. I feel better. I feel a lot better, chat. <laughs> a lot better game at 1080p 60 fps though it's Wait. low quality with the upscale performance setting the recommended requirements for playing at 1080p 60 fps at high quality and with the upscale quality setting include a core i7 8700 or ryzen 5 yeah we just learned this oh wait wait play graphics modes on PS5 and Xbox Series X, Hogwarts Legacy offers fidelity and performance modes. Avalanche Software and Port Key Games haven't gone into full detail on the resolution and frame rate for each graphics mode, but there is support for 4K resolution and HDR10 along with faster loading times. Expect more details in the weeks leading up to release. PlayStation I'm sure it's going to be buggy when it comes out. I'm sure. At least slow. Oh, come on up. Set in Hogsmeade, it sees of course, I, oh, wait, I knew that. Who has a shop to sell. However, the shop is haunted because, of course, and you'll be fighting threats like animated dolls. The shop looks more like a dungeon in scale, and the quest has extensive cutscenes and dialogue. Dual Sense Support In addition to an exclusive quest, features on the PS5 like activity cards and game help are supported. The dual senses adaptive triggers and haptic feedback also come into play, like the triggers providing some resistance based on the spells or <laughs> feedback on one side of the controller based on the I wonder how bad we can hear hear those the audio is fucking supported. the things the cry. Controller speaker can play additional sound effects. No microtransactions. 
Yes, Good Legacy shit. offers cosmetics as I didn't expect it to be and in the digital deluxe but. edition along with the PlayStation exclusive quest. But it doesn't have any microtransactions. While DLC may be added about at that some too. point, you won't have to pay yeah. additional money for cosmetics and whatnot. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request nice video, guys. Do. We upload new videos every single day. And if you like You want us to like it? Alright, cool. I actually like gaming, but I'm not sure why I'm not subscribed to him. Yeah, okay. Well, chat, if you guys want that video, I'll spam them in the comments now. Nice, nice job, guys. Hell yeah. Well, I'm fuck, I'm still so excited for for this Yule Tide ball. Oh, this Yule I wanna call it Yule Tide ball. <laughs> I wanna call it Yule Tide ball. Okay, chat. So this oh, one second. get my mouse to work. This is what our good sis Corinne just sent to me. Yeah, sure. Continue with me. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff that they sent us. Oh, see, stop it. <laughs> okay, so how will this Ministry of Magic official play a part? The Hogwarts Legacy Discord. So if you remember him, he was in the carriage with our character and Fig in the That's same play. I, I I literally forget everything all the time. <laughs> My memory is ass. You don't know this by now. Oh man. Okay. Okay. What, what else we have? No, not now. Why don't you just Professor Weasley? Oh, Matilda Weasley. Oh, the deputy headmistress. Talented witch with a background of curse breaker for the ministry, known as known for composing extraordinary wand work. Oh, getting the player up to speed with their studies and introduce them to their wizard's field guide and room of requirement. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. What else we got? John Simon Pegg as he dives deeper. Oh. Hello, it's a video. I'm Simon Pegg and I'm playing Phineas Nigellus Black. There you're gonna get Who new scenes here, so Black pay attention to the background. In the story, he's the headmaster of That's the School of Great Hall. Really? Wizardry. We saw Phineas in the books and in the films. He was a portrait in um, in Dumbledore's office, but this is at a time when he was actually actively the headmaster. Uh -huh. Phineas Nigellus Black is the least popular headmaster <laughs> in the history of Hogwarts. You and that's what we're all at. That's awesome. Academic futures. He is. A sort of pompous, disinterested. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. He's not a good teacher or, or headmaster in any way. I think he would have taken on the role of headmaster because of the gig. You know, it's a prestigious position. I don't think he has any interest in children's education or or being in any way a role model. It's not really his concern. What he wants I love is that. the kudos <laughs> of being the headmaster of the greatest wizarding school in the world. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the ministry. Yeah, he's just a bit of an idiot, really. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? No, of course you haven't. He is serious. I don't know his name from. Yeah, serious black. Yeah. I think I'm right inside. Okay. So there's got to be a little bit of something fun in him. Bellatrix and Malfoy are also Phineas's great great grandchildren. Okay. Is not the product of the black family, seemingly. Yeah. It's very different. And fin Phineas Nigellus is like the opposite of serious black. He's not noble. He's not brave. He's just a self interested fool. Doug <laughs> Hell's book, Money High, supports your Phineas. And a bad stop from leaking location of snake through his portrait. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I do. I feel like I remember that. As a sort of help and a hindrance to the players who are working their way through the game. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule. Your schedule will wait indefinitely. As I think that's Fig's student. office. He's entirely there to um, <laughs> scupper the efforts of the player, I'm sure. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. 
very proud to be a Slytherin. He was the last Slytherin headmaster. <laughs> Poor Snake took the, the job. Students and players will get from Phineas Nigellus Black is don't be like Phineas Nigellus Black. He uh -huh. is not someone to aspire to. He is a um, self-involved, cantankerous, slightly... I love how open world this is, and, I think and you can interact with whatever characters you want, but the they gave so much depth to these I'm characters. Sure I love it. Plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> I'm extremely excited to be part of the Harry Potter universe. I watched all those movies and uh, always expected a role. Virtually every British actor, actor has been in the Wizarding World films, apart from me. And so, particularly <laughs> a black, oh. black family, that's, uh, that's a cool thing. <laughs> to get the role of a black, <laughs> typically one of a black family, let me really correct that. It feels like something's finally been put right. Aww. Aww. <laughs> good job. That was a good that was a good little good little video. Little first comment. At what FPS will offer us legacy run on? That's not what we're here about. God damn. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh yeah, there. So what this will you is summon? like a quick thing, Akio. but it shows you yeah. Yeah, different ways to use Akio. Akio in the game. On people, so, on things. Yeah, but look at the library. How? We're inside it now and on the second yeah, floor. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, you're right. I like the little icon that it has on top too. And then that's See the dungeon, the of it, so right that's here. puzzle use, yes. Yeah. Puzzle use and then combat use. So it's kind of yeah. neat to see all the different ways you can use the same skill. Yeah. In a pinch. Oh, I saw this one. This is so oh, cool. Okay. The Wigan yeah. Well Potion will restore your health. This is so cool how like they showed the the parts you need the piece the uh the stuff the materials you need and how it makes mm -hmm. and how you like I like that's really fucking cool. So stuff that you get to yeah you get to collect while you're out in the world. Mushrooms, the plant. There's just been a lot of stuff, and then they released oh, right, this. Saw, saw. Oh, that's the same video, yeah. Yeah. Um. Then they released that. That last one that I gave you, which accessibility is, uh, features, yeah, which I thought was interesting because people yeah, were talking about, well, what if you're colorblind yeah. or what if you're this? Yeah. So they answered shit. those questions, which is cool. I mean, I didn't even know that accessibility features was a huge thing, like at the game awards. Because as soon as I saw accessibility features, I was like, gotta work out that shit. Because I mean, I did a, I actually started. No, I did do a whole video on that. I'm not sure if I actually uploaded it or not. So yeah, it's yeah, pretty cool. Stick swap. I'm curious. On the camera. We haven't gotten the winter ASMR yet, and I don't know if they're gonna do it because they did show the winter season in the last showcase, so we might not even get it. Hmm. And everybody's hoping for another showcase. That they want to see how a quest works, and I'm like, I don't know if that's gonna. We're getting pretty yeah. close to, to D-Day here. I don't know if we're going to get much more other than these little well, I mean, we have to. I'm sure they'll probably release it, like, they, at least at minimum, like, a week before. But Maybe. Yeah. Well, my darling, it was awesome having you here again. Chat, yeah, it was also, thank you. also it was having awesome you guys here, here um, for us to go through. Like, like I said, expect in about two weeks for me to kind of switch everything over to Hogwarts Legacy. Hopefully I'm done with my Elder Ring game gameplay by then. But um Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm very excited. We got we learned and saw a lot today. So that's really cool. That's really cool. Um I will stream in the morning. So I will stream in about six hours. <laughs> oh my. Maybe five, maybe five and a half. We'll see. Uh and that'll be on this channel. This really? Nice. Yeah. That'll be on this channel. It'll be Elder Ring. 
and then probably tomorrow night I'll do a one of my like AFL streams for my Australians. So I've been asking me, begging me to do an AFL one, and I I have not. I have just have not recently. Because every time I get on, I want to play Elder Ring. Every time I stream, I want to play Elder Ring. So yeah, I need to do that for you, for the for the boys for the for the Aussie boys. Are you getting but, better all right. at the PvP in Elden Ring now? Uh, look, <laughs> I stopped doing <laughs> PvP. And I'm doing a I'm doing a um I'm doing a uh, new like DLC mod run. Oh. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty cool. Like the the. The game is pretty cool. I want to finish it up really, really soon, because they the same people that did this DLC mod did a God of War one as well, and like it is fucking sick. So I want to like do them. I want to do it. So I gotta hurry up and finish this this gameplay so I can do the God of War one and then jump into Hogwarts Legacy. So, dang. it's gonna be a lot. I'm gonna have so much to play on my own, no. but then so much content to watch too. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be gonna so have much. No life. <laughs> Literally no life. Work, school, game, stream. That's gonna be my life. Work, school, game, stream. Except for that Yule Ball celebration I'm gonna that I'm going to. That's gonna be fucking yeah. sick. I'm gonna love I'm going to love that. And obviously I'm gonna have to like stream it too, so You're gonna have to take pictures of your your robes when you go. Yeah. And I'll send you pictures of from of all the stuff that I got from uh, New York. So I got a lot. Okay. I did get a lot. Well I'm excited, I'm like looking it. forward to it. I can't wait to see all your pictures. Chat, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. This music is very epic and I love it. <laughs> but, alright guys. I love you all. Have a beautiful goddamn day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> see ya. within the game, Yo, although it won't be, be racist sick and in this game. so at least you can do some things on the broom if you were someone that's really Yo, good imagine Quidditch. like Number actually three, playing Quidditch, for real. you can actually tame, mount, and ride some magical beasts within Hogwarts, yeah, that's so what I'm broom excited flight for, won't too. be your only method of aerial transportation. I'm that's super cool. excited for this one, yeah, and I've I do never want seen to know how much depth will go into the taming so and mounting cute. system, but we'll just exactly. have to wait and see. I want Number to ride four, you can find and access the Room of Requirements, which is a magical room in the Hogwarts castle, which can only be discovered by someone who is in need of it. Within the actual grounds of Hogwarts, having access to this room will give you the ability to customize as well as grow your abilities, but more on this is going to be revealed officially later down the line. Number five, okay. it is confirmed that there will be no microtransactions within Yay! Hogwarts Legacy. Although we love you games without microtransactions. Dark Arts pack upgrade if you initially started Which on the standard edition, but outside of that, there will be nothing you can buy that. via microtransactions. Number mm -hmm. six, Hogwarts will be completely single player with no online the whole or time. Time, However, bro. there is going to be some patches, specifically oh. a day one patch, so you will still need internet access to play the game on launch. Number seven, the game okay. itself isn't just bound to Hogwarts Castle. You can explore other familiar locations in the surrounding area, such as the Forbidden Forest, which we all know nice, is forbidden good. for a reason, as well as Hogsmeade right. Village. Which we're gonna actually have to go to. Hogwarts itself, though, you can fully explore.